Hi, everybody. How y'all doing? Okay, so back from church vlog. Here we go. This was my scarf of the day. La la la. Okay, so this is the first time I've been in a week. Yeah, because I was sick last week. So, let's see. I stumbled into church. <laughs> and right when I got into the narthex, actually, um, the priest was coming through. So, I just stepped in and I bowed forward and he came forward with the incense. And then I stood up and um, dressed myself. Then, let's see, I, I bought five candles. So, wait, no. First, I got a radio that I can. That's what I did. Then I went and I bought five candles. Okay. Then when I walked in, um, there were only chanters there today. It was just four chanters. And I noticed that nothing was set up in the um, the area where we do choir. So I thought, oh, okay, it's just chanters today. So I went forward and I lit my five. And then I went outside and um, I lit one on the outside for my father because it's Father's Day and he passed away. So anyways, um, I went back in and it was getting a wee bit closer to the time when, um, you know, I was thinking... Great doxology should start. Oh. And I saw one of the chanters cross all the way across and begin to set up the stands, which really surprised me. Um, so I started setting up stands. The very moment that the other chanters were finished, my choir director's right in front of me. And before I know it, praise me through the end. There we go. So we're off and running, right? Um, I, I, I don't remember exactly when Mercy and Grace started because I had actually sat down next to Donna, remember Donna, um, and we were praying and chanting and then, um, and talking a little bit here and there, but mostly praying. She, um, so when I knew I was going to go sing, I, I said goodbye to her and I went back up there. I, I think, I think it was by when I came in from lighting the second candle, the, the outside candle for my dad, that it was there. But I actually felt it immediately when I went into the narthex. So, um, it, and and it was a little different this time. It didn't stay just in my um, spine. It absolutely maintained as a tingle throughout, like all the extremities the whole time. Okay, it went very fast today, and even um, my director said that too because. I guess it was a different form of uh, the combinations of a liturgy. I don't really know what the differences were. Um, and then it was really fast to get to the homily or sermon, whatever you want to call it. Oh my gosh, before then the gospel reading was something in Matthew. I absolutely adored it. I have to go back and, and get it. And I know I need to do a vlog on that. I need to do a vlog on two different things in Corinthians. Okay. Um, I think those were two different things in Corinthians. So it might just be one, but it could be two. Okay, so future vlogs. Um, then we sat down for uh, to hear, yeah, of the priest. And for the first time, I actually had a negative experience during the sermon, which really surprised me. But the interesting thing of it was, it's the kind of thing where I would get in a snit and just like leave. Oh, well, that's not kind of thing. But um, I couldn't or didn't want to or whatever because what was so funny about it was I knew it was based on a misunderstanding. And that was the best thing of all because if someone, you know, is, is having malice towards you, it's far, it's far more difficult to, you know, find a place of forgiveness rather than someone who has a misunderstanding because you know that if you have a good relationship with that person that you're able to, you know, forgive them outright anyways but then when you go forward to explain hey you know blah 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 they understand too and so no harm no harm intended no foul perceived right so um but that was the funniest thing while i was busy being offended mercy and grace are still there so i knew since both of those things are happening at the same time that you know i wasn't going to leave and then i felt badly though because i did have to step out during just because i was choking on <laughs> Because I don't drink water, so when I'm in the trash. So I uh, got back up, sing, 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 and then I found out one of our chanters is moving. Oh my gosh, this tenor! I am really gonna miss this tenor. 
I think he's going to Abiquiu. Yeah, I think he's going to Albuquerque, New Mexico. So we got to sing for him, wish him goodbye, and many years, and all kinds of stuff. And um, then towards the very end, there was an introduction to a lady named Rachel who is going to be organizing an Orthodox preschool. I thought that was really interesting because Jasper needs to go to preschool. And, um, hmm, <laughs> going to have to talk to her about that. So let's see. What else was it? Oh my gosh. The priest of the Greek Orthodox Church was really ill. Oh my gosh. In fact, that was why the um, the Bible study was uh, canceled yesterday because my priest went to go do a baptism that he would have done. And um, so, yeah, he asked for prayers for a priest. So the Antiochian church and the Greek church here kind of interface with each other quite a bit. On, um, like, alternate Thursdays or Fridays, I think, um, they'll, everybody will go from one church to the other. They'll, they'll have all their prayers there. And there's some other commiseration that goes on. I don't recall quite, but we're very super friendly with each other, which is incredibly nice um, to have that as, um, um, you know, that Orthodox are just working together and that no one cares. No one cares Greek or Antiochian. No one cares. And that's how it absolutely should be. No one cares. And you know, Greek or yes, Orthodox or no Orthodox or human being or whatever. It's, you know, that's, I was, I was very, very pleased to see that. Um, you know, because I know that other people have different experiences. So I'm glad that that's not why. So, whatchamacallit, got to the end. We sing one of my most, most, most favorite ones, which I actually copied and brought home because. I've been running around the house singing it all the time, and I'm like, okay, I really want to make sure. Because there's there's parts of it that are the song, and then there's parts of it that are from Corinthians that actually are the chanting part, and I, I wanted to memorize the chanting parts. So I Xeroxed all that stuff up, and then, oh my goodness. This is it's a non-liturgical hymn but it is a hymn um to the theotokos it is in tone five it is beyond gorgeous um e flat we sang it in e flat it it is my new most favorite thing i'm gonna be singing around the house ad nauseum till my kids look at me and seriously after a while, you know, because I'm practicing for hours, I'll sing while I'm cleaning, I'm singing while I'm always doing whatever. Then in the middle of that, while I'm doing that, if I have to tell them to do like something in the house to clean, it still comes out like opera because I'm still thinking in singing mode. It's like, then Jasper will look at me and I'll open up my mouth just to say the first part of the phrase that I'm trying to memorize for myself. And he'll go, no, nah! he's like so sick of hearing me sing. Ah, poor guy. Anyways, so now I have this amazing um, new hymn. I'm I'm probably gonna actually take myself singing them um, for people who want it. I'm just gonna put it on um, on, on um, not private, but if you have the link, it starts with a U, unlisted. Um, a new commandment I give to you. I know somebody definitely who would specifically want that, and then I'm also gonna put up a pure virgin. So if you want those. If you want those, either of those, when I get those up, let me know. Either put it in the comments or give me a PM um, to hear, hear singing it. There, if you have an opinion about those three vlogs I said about versus the Corinthians, two different ones in Corinthians, and I don't remember what the other one is now, but I'll have to look back and listen to my own vlog to know that other one. If you have an opinion about that, go ahead and let me know in comments or PM. And if you want to know what I misunderstood <laughs> and why I was so upset and offended, I'm going to put that in another vlog. But it it really is so inconsequential. It's just a silly glitch. That that's why I didn't put it in this because it doesn't matter at all. Um, but if you want to hear how silly my brain is, if you really just have to know, um, I'm going to make a little vlog about it. And, um, yeah, then you can get it on the list if you want. So um, I hope everyone is doing really well. I need to 
hear back from some people. I think I finally have my Skype working, the technology-wise, and I think I finally have me able to Skype again, me personally. I went through a Skype anxiety thing. It is over. Um, and we only have three more weeks, four more weeks, something until... Uh, three or two. Three or two or one. <laughs> my son's making it vague. OPSEC, thank you very much. So whenever that'll happen. And then remember, I will disappear for about three weeks. <laughs> um, and then uh, I'll just keep releasing videos now and again and maybe visit quickly, but it'll be... Uh, I'll have all the members of my band back together, so that will be great. Um, so, looking forward to hearing back from everybody. Um, I need to catch up on a lot of people's vlogging. Um, wishing everybody bright blessings and peace. Take care.